I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R750 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on operating systems. Let's get going. Hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R750 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, we'll top in. Uh, this video is going to be specifically dedicated to operating systems, and really what we're going to do is install Windows Server 2022. But we're going to start by going over the different compatible operating systems, and then as part of installing Windows 2022, we're going to show you how to download your OS. We're going to show you how to create a bootable USB, and then we're going to show you the step-by-step -step instructions on how to physically install it. So let's hop into the good stuff. So what are the supported operating systems? Well, let's start with the Windows. So there's Windows Server 2016, 2019, or 2022, and 2022 is what we'll be installing here in a few minutes. Let's go over the VMware operating systems. You have the older ESXi's, which really no point using those nowadays, uh, but you have 6.7, uh, you have the 7.0 and the 8.0 and the newer versions of 8.0. Now everything, of course, you have to pay for it, which is a big downside for, for VMware these days. Uh, and then you have Linux, which is, a, everyone's a huge fan of Linux. Uh, you're going to have Red Hat, you're going to have SUSE, you're going to have Ubuntu, so there's a bunch of uh, good options for Linux as well. All right, up next, I'll show you how to download Windows Server 2022 and create a bootable USB and install it into your server. Let's get going. All right, so now we're going to show you how to install Windows Server 2022 locally onto your 15th gen server. All you're going to need is a server with enough storage space available for the installation. You can do this with an external USB drive. You can do this with an M.2 SSD plugged in through an adapter, a SAS or SATA drive plugged into the back plane. You can do this a number of different ways. Uh, this process does not require an active network connection on the server. All right, first thing you're going to do is go to the Microsoft link that you see listed here and we're going to download the English 64-bit edition ISO file. All right, so now we need to create a bootable USB. We are going to use a program called Rufus. So we just go into Google or to a web browser in general and search Rufus, download the program and run it once it is downloaded. Plug the USB into the computer that you downloaded Rufus on and under the device in Rufus, make sure the USB drive is selected. If you only have one USB drive plugged into your machine, it will be selected by default. Leave everything under the default settings, then click the select button and choose the ISO file that we downloaded in the previous steps. Click start to begin creating the Windows Server 2022 installation USB drive. All right, so now we're going to show you how to install Windows Server 2022 locally onto your 15th gen server. All you're going to need is a server with enough storage space available for the installation. You can do this with an external drive, a USB drive, an M.2 SSD plugged in through an adapter, a SAS or SATA drive plugged into the back plane. There's a number of different ways that you can go about this, and this does not require an active network connection on your server. All right, so now we want to simply take our USB drive, put it into our server. Now let's boot up our server. Press F11 during post, and this will enter the boot manager, and you're going to want to select One Shot UEFI Boot Menu. Select the USB drive that we plugged into the server, and hit enter. This will boot straight to Windows Server 2022 installation. The first screen that's going to pop up will ask you the language, time and currency format, keyboard or input method. For us, it's all set to English United States, which is what we want. So we're going to leave it as is. Now, obviously, if it's different for you, change it to what you want. Just click next, and then you're going to click install now to begin. Next, we're going to pick the specific operating system we want. In our case, we're picking Windows Server 2022 Standard Evaluation Desktop Experience. This is going to be up to each individual user, though, on which operating system they want. You're going to need to accept the license's terms and conditions and hit Next. Then you're going to select Custom Install Windows Server Only Advanced. We'll choose this because we're installing a fresh version of Windows and we're not upgrading from a previous version. Now we're going to choose the storage space that we want to use to install Windows Server on. We will select the storage space we prefer and hit Next. Windows will begin the installation. 
the installation will take some time so we will fast forward through this part uh, but do know that this part will take several minutes for the Windows uh, installation process. The server is going to reboot when the installation has finished and then it will boot into Windows Server 2022. We've done it. We've successfully installed Windows Server 2022 onto our server. Well, hey, if you found this video helpful, do us a favor, click that like and smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom built Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco, we would love the opportunity to earn your data center, your home labs business. Please email us at sales at cloudinage.com. That's sales at cloudinage.com. Thanks for stopping by, guys.